Inside your water chemistry shipping cooler, you'll find three gallon-sized plastic bags. One of these is used to hold your lab slip, and the other two each need to be filled about halfway with ice cubes. The two sandwich size bags are used to hold your water sample bottle and your chlorophyll tube. Please store your water sample bottle in the refrigerator overnight and your chlorophyll tube in the freezer so that they're as cold as possible when you pack them up for shipping. This will allow your ice to last longer and ensure that your samples arrive cold at the lab. Warm samples can still be tested, but the test results are most accurate if your samples arrive cold. To pack up your samples for shipping, open up one of your gallon-sized bags of ice and place your phosphorus water sample bottle directly into the ice cubes. Then place the chlorophyll tube in the ice next to it. Squeeze as much air as possible out of the bag and make sure that the zipper is completely sealed so it can't leak as the ice melts. Now put the bag into the foam cooler and press it against one side to make room for the other bag. Open part of the zipper on the second bag of ice and again squeeze out as much air as possible. Then reseal the bag making sure that it's fully closed to avoid leaks. Put this bag into the other side of the foam cooler so that both zippers are facing up. The two bags of ice should be taking up the entire space of the cooler with very little air space. If you have room for more ice, open up the second bag of ice, add more, and reseal the bag. You can now put the lid on the cooler, place the bagged lab slip on top, and close up the shipping box. Seal up your box with a strip of packing tape across the middle. Now grab your prepaid mailing label, pull the backing off, and attach the label to your box. Add two priority mail stickers to the box. The last thing to do is to flip the card around that's in the plastic envelope on the front of your box. So open up the envelope, grab your chlorophyll filter tweezers, and put the box flat on the table. Grab the card with the tweezers, flip it over, and put it back in. Reseal the plastic envelope, stand up your box, and your package is ready to mail out. We recommend contacting your local post office to see when packages leave the post office so that you can minimize the amount of time that your package sits there. If you have any questions, please contact your local Citizen Lake Monitoring Network coordinator or the statewide educator.